Let's rock, baby. So there's one door. I don't think I can go in there. Here's a better door. So I, I was gonna say, um, other, other, like, characters with the cockiness of Dante, <laughs> pre-Dante. Ooh, ooh, um, um, uh, mm. Like fighting- With that style. Fighting off the evil that makes no sense to human minds, casually. As if it were nothing. He does not take this entire game seriously until, like, I want to say Mission 19. Uh, I, so Helsing, right, has Alucard, but Alucard- In the anime? Al so are we yeah. talking anime? Well, I mean, there's a million of those fucks. Well, there's there's Helsing, there's the new one, and then there's the uh, the manga. But I, I, I definitely don't think that uh, Helsing predates Devil May Cry, so... The similarities are obvious between those two as well. Yeah, I'm down to the red coat, the twin guns, and the fucking... the demon heritage. Now, I hope you remember this fun part, where you have to do this fucking platforming challenge in 3D with BAD camera angles! That they try! They legitimately try to help you with these camera angles. I... completely... Forget this, Deleted huh? this. Yeah. Fuck. You went for the shortcut. I went for the sh Well, at least you recognized it instead of going, Ha ha, idiot, you just jumped off. Shouldn't have. Oh, man, this game is fucking awesome. Yeah, Helsing's 2006. Yeah. Well, that seems... So he was... He was... He was, he was uh... Probably... Influenced. The only thing that saves these jumping areas is that Dante's jump has an incredibly specific amount of forward momentum. Mm. He can only jump so far. It's almost locked in how far he can jump. Now, uh, if we... One easy way of, 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 of getting an answer there is the, the Gar-like heroes of old Mecha with yeah. hot blood would fight off all kinds of dem demonic bullshit and not give a My shit. My name is Ifrit. Mm. And I will create a subgenre of fighting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wakes me so Speaking of hot blooded gar, put these fucking things on. This is still one of the coolest ways he's ever gotten a weapon with them flying around like that. It's not bad. I like it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Agni and Rudra. And, Chatting. Uh, yeah. And, uh, Nevin. Ifrit! Yeah. And now you can weapon switch. Very slowly. It's almost like they knew no one would ever want to switch out of the fucking, uh, thing. So, let's take this but, first spin. Well, at least you don't have to pause the game to Mmm. 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 Mmm! Oh, feels so good! Big charge for big boys! And Killer B! There she is! Why would it be called Killer B? Did he learn that from Cammy? Yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably. Okay, what about Kick 13? Kick 13 is not in this move list as of yet. Where the fuck did that name come from? I don't know. So you get a four hit yeah. with a heal kick at the end, which is really good. So, but its special ability is one, two. Fucking so it doesn't fitness. have the combo variability that um, that Alistair does. Um, so it's definitely not the case. However, Kick 13, naming convention-wise, reminds me a lot of Kyo Kusanagi's move list. Because all of Kyo's moves are named, are numbered. Hey, there's a big boy. Because the, the Kusanagi family taught them, like, in a fucking structured way. Oh, hold on, let's, uh, let's be quiet oh, for yeah, this one, this is the best one ever. It's the standout line. Lock off, Featherface, or you can stick around and find out the hard way. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. So, like, in that, it's the worst, of course. But yeah. it comes back and fucking Bayo says it. Yeah, this is a cool thing to say to bird monsters, especially when the bird monster has a weird ass beak face. Like, it's got multiple weird out of place beaks. It's quite creepy. Yo, oh, yeah, this- the shooting him with this shit, he doesn't like it. Then you fucking get in there. Mm. That's a gap closer. Yep. Mm. Mm. Ah. Oh no, come ah. on! 
so I think what they want me to do is hop on those. But fuck that, it's actually not very useful. At least, I don't personally find it very useful. What's actually very useful is shooting him with your fucking super powerful DT bullets. Ah. Just adding the, adding the melee move list, man. God damn, that's so fucking fun. I think I've said it on the podcast before, but... Like... Like... The joy of landing a Shinshoryuken was unique. Yeah. And then came Distorted Real Impact. And yeah, you went, it's oh! Like, oh, it's better than it is in the game in which it originated. <laughs> oh! Oh, thank you. Like... You gave us a Shinshoryuken. That's weird. <laughs> it's, that's one of the weirdest, because I cannot think of any move aside from Distorted Real Impact, which people who don't know will explain in a second. Mm -hmm. But... Um, ERI, baby. In which it is better than the game it came from. Right? The homage move yeah. is just oh, yeah. straight up better. So, for those of you who don't know, Ryu, in Third Strike and other games, has a move called the Shinshoryuken, in which he gets you with a short little gut punch that makes you fucking go... Ooh! Or no, sorry, what's the word, Willie? Horf. Horf! Followed by a grounded Shoryuken. That comes from centered Metsu energy, yeah. which is used to quell the 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 dark hidden Hado. Yeah, directly into your jaw, and then he continues to show you through your jaw. It represents the purity of his. Of his it's essentially a setup into a really brutal, perfect grounded Shoryu. Dante in three gains this move, and he calls it real impact. Mm -hmm. Words are carved here. And the thing about real impact is that if you hit your double trigger right at the same time at the... Uh, no, wait, is it let go or is it... It's on It's on, It's on. on the hit stop moment. Yeah. I think it's let go, not turn on. Or it might be both. Regardless, you use your devil trigger to fuck up the move <laughs> and cause it to hit twice for no reason. With DT uh, yeah. uh, damage. And it itched, it it slaps Melts life bars. It very much slaps. <laughs> and what you effectively get is giant life bars on giant bosses evaporating to a Shinshoryuken that you've manually timed to buff. Yeah. And it's the most now, satisfying a, a, thing. A regular enemy <laughs> will just Melts. vaporize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the most satisfying thing on the fucking planet. And, it, and you see the pop of the devil trigger, like like start and and, pop, and like. Am I missing something here? And uh, uh, oh, I needed to have something else equipped. That's and cool. synchronize with each part of the, each hit of the. Oh, uh, I fucking show you. And, uh, it's amazing. It's, Go look it up. It's the yeah. There's a video. There's a video. They they. It was an accident. That I, in three was clearly a bug, and then they in they fucking made sure to keep it in four. Because it was so dope. And it, it bears mentioning that Dante has been in three games playable. That's three. Um, and he always gets a fist weapon as a result of it just being the coolest. Fist weapons are cool. Yeah. And the fun that we haven't seen yet is when you get to your next uh, fucking statue. And you get to see that alongside the new weapon comes a whole new move list. You a can, bunch of cool moves. You can unlock. Because you're looking at that short... You know, uh, Alistair move list going, hey, I'll probably unlock those fairly quickly. Where's the rest of my money gonna be? Oh no, it's a fetish. I think that's what they're calling it. Fetish? And they're they're fire powered because now I have a fire power. Everybody got the fire power. Let's find out. Yeah, pull up the, the name of these guys. So th this rocket launcher really Fucks up, guys, real bad. It's a bit. It's a game it's breaker. It's very overpowered. It's a game breaker, and if you don't want to play the video game, then you can do that. Yeah. Like it, and you know, you DT with fucking uh, Ifrit there, as we just saw an yep. enemy go down. Fetish. So, yep. Similar to a puppet, but not. Like th these these guys are just blowing apart in one. Fetishes do not appear on easy difficulty. Nope. I did not know that. So, in fact, time to come clean, Wooly. Back in the day, I wasn't very good at character action games. 
And when I died about a hundred times to Phantom, and the game, which is now laughable, right? The game was like, would you like to play on Easy Auto? I went, yeah, sure. And I beat the game on Easy Auto. And that was the first time I ever beat DMC. And then you had a discussion with someone about something. Nope. Okay. And then I went, wow, that game's amazing. I would like to play it on normal. So that cutscene freaked me the fuck out uh, because it's not in easy mode. Yeah. I went, oh my god, how much other stuff yeah, is, did okay, I miss? Okay. And the answer is not that much. The frosts aren't there either. The two frosts, mm -hmm. I don't believe they attack you either. But. The thought that there's content missing yeah. on your easy playthrough. So we got Magma Drive. Yes. That's pretty good. Yes. We got Kick 13. That's amazing. Yes. You have Rolling Blaze. I have never found a use for this. It's fine. You have Meteor. Yep. Meteor is pretty yep. good. Yep, yep. So we're, we're going to focus on Kick 13 here. Or are we not even going to scroll down? Oh, yeah. Not even. <laughs> We're not even gonna Inferno's see. there. We're not too, even gonna look at it. <laughs> All right, and now we have Kick 13, one and Meteor one. This is the, the this is the highest DPS um, like DT move that you can do. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, but trust me, I fucking fought Nightmare Three, Nightmare uh, Nightmare Three DMD, and yeah, no, it 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 hurts a lot when you hit dudes with it. I'm not saying it bugs me, I'm just saying that I'm surprised you're not saving for Air Hike, because... Air Hike is after the vital combat moves, such as this one. That's, that's, that's cool. I get the moves that I want, and then I get Air Hike. That's, that's how, that's how Pat go and do. So that's my favorite part about Ifrit, is that as you're charging and you know it's gonna hit, you can turn DT on for the one hit. Mm. Now, um, the thing when I when I think of Killer B, yeah. I immediately think of the uh, low Killer B, exactly, right? Full true to your cat. Yeah, style. I don't think Kennedy Step is here. <laughs> I don't think enemy yeah. Yeah. Because I, I don't know if you can. So, Wooly, if you were looking closely when I was using you it, you were mashing it? You could probably see, like, I'm doing really low you're killer trying, And you're trying. I'm trying, and no. it's like, I no. Don't, I don't think it's happening. You can, in Devil May Cry 3, just do it. You can killer B, and at the end of the hit, mash jump or time jump and get an enemy mash step. Mash jump. But if you mash it too hard, you can't get the next killer B out, right? And then you do it again, and then you do it again, and See, then... that's the move I'm talking about, right there. And what you end up seeing in certain combos it's is... just a weird twitchy... <laughs> a weird twitchy Dante! <laughs> and it's the sign of like, oh, this motherfucker knows exactly what he's doing. It's, yeah, and it's a, it's a dive kick into a jump off the enemy's head, get back into another dive kick immediately. And much like a lot of other things in Devil May Cry, it felt very unintentional to be able to twitch like that. But boy, is it stylish. Because if you think about what you're doing, it's the it's just the coolest shit. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's not here. You know what I would love? I would love to have a boss fight against another human-style opponent, and they do the dumb bullshit to you. But then that would endorse the dumb bullshit. The dumb bullshit's already been endorsed by showing up game after game after game Later, after it's a bug. When people love it, yeah, exactly. It's very Street Fighter. That, this is a bug. Oh, it made the game better. Leave it. So you know what I found out? That that combo thing? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Here's the problem. So it, apparently... The, the, like, you think there's, it's apocryphal? There, no, there was an interview that came out where um, a, a Street Fighter 2 dev said, actually, that's a misconception. Damn it. Combos were intended. Small combos were intended. But it's almost one of those things where you're like, are you saying that in retrospect? Yeah. No, that's what he said, I believe. Him. You couldn't. You couldn't say that in retrospect. Taking part of what someone says... People would think that you're a liar. Taking part of what someone says and, and choosing to not believe it for your own weird narrative is a dick move. Oh, fuck you. You're such... So, you're, oh, look at my health! Look at my shitty health! It's the worst. Wooly's bringing his Nothing. brain back into the... Uh, I really hate... That a second life bar gets created on top of I that way. I love it. I oh, you want the big fucking long Keep one? Keep it going, fucking. Yeah, you, okay, you, yeah, you know what? 
I can appreciate Hit that. Hit the edge of the goddamn TV. That would cause visibility problems. Change the color. You know what's actually interesting? Final fight. Oh, yeah. Um, this is... This, this is a thing that happened in the HD era, I want to say. That's why I feel it, it started to show up. By the way, that's Kick 13 in DT. It's a fucking huge combo. Yeah, you're using it on things that can't even show off what's happening. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fuck them. But, uh, is that... Look how far away from the absolute edge of the screen the health bar is. It's in there. But what I mean is, is that in today's era, all of these elements would be pushed to the bottom. To 10 yeah, pixels yeah, yeah, away yeah, yeah, from yeah, yeah, the yeah. edge to get that that real estate. Well, this is the HD collection. I just realized the game is in widescreen. So you're not playing it for three. I just, <laughs> just realized Your it. brain did not piece that No, together. it didn't. That's crazy. This is not how the game was played when you first tried it. Hell no, it wasn't. So... Oh, okay. Come on. Man, Lock and Load's a great track. And I'm glad that Dante, like, kept it, like, in his character's soul, I guess, well, going forward. Well, the other thing is, like, it's like recurring battle music yeah. that just also becomes a... a, a on the, oh, God, I for... Dude, the life bar has to scroll away and disappear every time you take oh, it it's damage. Oh, it's great. It's great. It looks so bad. Look to enter the Lost Land. Only pro only those who protect the weak light shall have the power to suffer. <gasps> Look, there's the light. Why would you do it like that? Because it's cool. Shows off how much health you got. Wow, look how much health you got. You got so much health. It's like he's got two healths. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah! You had a plan. Uh oh. These guys are actually hard to hit with this. Yeah, you have to wait for the slowdown on me. Or just do that. Go get hit by that, though. I hate it. I hate it. it. It's so loud and clear that it's happening. Like, I don't- I- I know what you mean, but it's so, like, I don't there, you know? Listen. We can't all be perfect. Like you. No, I get hit by them. Good. So the fun part is, like, in order to force you to actually fight the enemies, like, they just fucking put the goddamn mm. thing in them. Oh, you whiffed. No, I didn't. He just died. What I like is that Alistar, for example, I think he can bounce off them if they have their shields, but Ifrit can't. Ah. Oh. I didn't know that. In fact, the next time I fight Blades, before I blow them the fuck up... You hit the shield. I'm gonna hit the shield with Alistar. Oh. No one left. Uh... Yeah, I... I mean, I can see it. So... Props to Bayo for adding um, the concept of dodge offset. Yeah. Because... To this world. Because what you effectively had back here was your full combo. Some moves are, you know, understandably locked in, 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 at the end of the string. Because that's where they go. too good. Because it's a combo. But... This camera's really bad. Holy shit. But when people got used to fucking mastering these games, it got to a point where they're like, I want that kick, that one at the end of the string. It's the only one I want. So uh, you could then tap, pump the button and dodge, and then pump and dodge, and it would go further down the combo string as if you used the move. Yeah. And give you the exact normal Ben Ed's block. original name was actually called Dodge Pumpers, if you believe it. I mean, that's what she's doing the whole time. She's dodging the pumping? And then she's pump dodging. You know it. So let's just see if we can get him like this. Yep. That move does so much fucking damage. If you don't block it, you fuck! Hey man, enemies block, Dante doesn't. You know what the thing is in this game? I forgot. You gain DT crazy fast. Like, you hit an enemy a couple times, full devil trigger. Yeah, spend it. Why not? Um, All right, so there's some blades coming up, so I'm gonna use uh, this experience to test the uh, the thing. I wonder if there was a build of this game that had locking. That would have been awful. I wonder. That would have been awful. I wonder if there's a no, no. You know what? I bet you there's a build of Devil May Cry 2 that has blocking. I bet there is. Kids like the block by fan request. Oh, they love it. Ugh. I remember. 
I, I was so into DMC that when uh, fucking I started playing God of War and Ninja Gaiden Black, Black was the first time I got a hold of it, and there, there was a block button, I went like, <laughs> like as, <laughs> like that's, that's how far in, mm. even though those are very different types of combat, mm -hmm. but I was just like, ugh. I feel as if the fact that D the fact that DMC two happened in the way it did, where um, oh, fuck this one, where people who didn't understand the first game got to rule and on the and, and give feedback and consensus that made enemy it step is here. Oh, well then you just need to try it. I need air hike for this to make it happen. Wow, you don't need it at all. You're doing great! Well, it's tough, man. Also, that exposes everything we were just talking about. Sure does. Probably last episode. Hell yeah. We're idiots. Expect a lot of that in this LP. Don't worry about it. Remember, this is the first recording session, so we haven't had the massive depressing corrections yet. So we we get to still just have fun with whatever we're saying. Actually, right now. a Super Nintendo game invented stuff. <laughs> Shit! That's yeah. the one. No, it's that. It, it's, um. I'll never forget it. Man, I wish. Okay, I don't need it, but I wish I had air hike. Yeah, yeah, for this exact purpose. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey. Uh, so I'll never forget it because the first time it ever happened was Bloodborne. Oh boy. But there was the start of that. Uh -huh. Oh, they're still just there. The start of Bloodborne was uh, a solid, like, long session, probably like three and a half. It was way longer. It was closer to like six. It was a huge we, day. Bloodborne, I think, is like the most excited we have ever been to start an LP. And, and uh, that was dumb. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I mean, here's the thing, right? New crazy switching Souls game, but it's in fucking, like, a completely different times, you know, and everything. Like, it was great. But the excitement was there, and, and, and it taught me something, which is that was when that was probably the first time I can recall where um, the new the new excitement thing, like immediately being followed, like as it goes, like we walked away going, yeah, that was the one of the best sessions we've ever recorded. That was great. Oh, so if you so want to go back in time, I even remember where we stopped. We stopped at uh, fucking Bloodstar. Bloodstar. Yeah. 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 And, and we were like, oh, we don't have it within us to fucking do this today after like six and a half hours of recording. But man, whoa, so what much. a sesh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And then it went live and then it got ripped apart. And then we felt bad. And it was just one of those things where you go, oh, man, that excitement while you're doing it is not always going to turn out to translate. What? It's uh, the audience. Sometimes That's crazy. they have a, a different thing in mind, and you go, "Oh, I hate this motherfucker so much." Um, so yeah, I'm like, "There's so, a way to just helm slur him over and over," but I'm not good at it. And so ever ever since then, uh, there's been that. Oh, there's your commander. Yeah, weird, huh? Because he he hit me against a wall that doesn't exist. So the fun part about this fight is, God forbid, you fall down that hole. Yeah. Because it's an area transition that will fucking reset your progress. Ever since then, uh, there's been the feeling that, like, you've, the first session is always... Ooh, ooh, ooh hey. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Lots Maybe this will be... Ooh, ooh, this is a disaster. And then, and, then it, and then it always turns out the same, and you go, oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so then you stop assuming yeah, that... Yeah, uh, just give up. Start live streaming. Just assume it's like <laughs> assume, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Where you can see it within two minutes. Oh boy. Just assume it's all awful. Just assume okay, it's that was in my mind. They they don't block. Yup, oh, yeah, sure enough. There it is. But Ifrit doesn't have that problem. Because if they block it, it, it just crushes. Yeah. Um Yep. Stylish. There you go. Just from punching him. The charge moves on Ifrit are insanely stylish, apparently. When you when you when you get them right as a like counter hit almost, yeah. yeah. Oh, don't worry, Wooly. I'm sure no one will have any problems. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm not sure, worried at all. I'm sure no one will have any problems with the way I'm conducting myself in this LP. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I don't know about you though. <laughs> I I'm I'm not worried at all. I just want to bring something funny that we've observed 
uh, to, to, to that's some LP funsies right there. To the camera because we've noticed it off camera and we and we brought we never brought it up. So I was like, hey, I'm having so much trouble getting fucking enemy step going on this <laughs> shit, man. Like it might it might not be in this game. Well, I, enemy step seem to be like pure, but I don't think Killer B is letting me do it. Now we will watch the enemy step tutorial for Devil May Cry 1 and how you can get infinite killer bees. I'm staring at my phone and I'm not looking it up. Don't do it. What do you mean you're looking at your phone? Oh yeah, it's a sign of chastity. A brain. Nice. I don't know what that means. It means Well, let's think about that for a second. Yeah. It means you should You're use, smart enough to use your head to and, save it for marriage. Yup. Just say no. Man, those... those nightmares about saving it for marriage freak me out, man. Just... use your brain and say, be gone, bot. Oh, yeah, that's right, you told your mom you saved it for marriage, right? Now you're getting married? <laughs> good, good Jesus. You know, I wish I could fucking translate the look on his goddamn face to you people right now. Because it's it's something. Because do you, do you, okay, let me. You want me to walk you through what just happened? <laughs> I was I was like, I have a story, and then I was like, no, nope, no, nope. I don't. And then I felt that, so I said, <laughs> hey, how would your mom feel about that? Because I fucking feel it from across the room, and I'm like, I'm gonna just pull this out, just pull it out of you, make it too awkward there for is, you to not there say is something. No story. <laughs> None. Fuck you. Hey, look at that devil star. Oh, wow. I got, I got another devil trigger button. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Where was it? I'm just hanging out. Okay. Hey. I didn't even see it, man. Which game started the gunshots? Which one? The stage clear gunshots. Was it two? Was it two? Oh, that one was easy. It might have been two. It might have been two. I know I definitely remember it being in three. Of course it was. But of course it was. But was it in two though? We'll Fuck it. Never. Let's know. Wait. I'm sorry. What two? There's no such thing. Silly me. Silly. You say that, but the person editing this. Has words. So the funniest part about yeah, that, that cor the correction. So we we sat down and recorded the final episode of Banner Saga right before doing this for you guys. Sure did. And uh, we died a couple times in that. So we sent it off to Billy and said, "Hey, cut here because we had some trouble." And uh, then I said, "Hey, we're recording Devil May Cry One today. So if you could make a title card and stuff like that." And he said, "Goes great." He goes, "You're starting Devil May Cry One." My favorite Devil May Cry game. Like, very clear. So clear to say. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite. Like, it's, it's, I love that video game when I do. It's... You... Oh. You. There are no others that are better. Ah, uh, the correction. It's great. It's fucking great. Don't tell me it's not. I mean, to be fair, it is a slanderous accusation. It sure is. <laughs> like, it is one that would require a press release. Could you imagine, like... <laughs> Standing in front of a podium. Could you fucking imagine, like, something like Itagaki and Cory Barlog both came out and were like, Yeah, our favorite DMCs too. And you're just like, and the and the and the gameplay designer of Darksiders, and yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah, so yeah, on yeah, and yeah, so yeah, forth, yeah, yeah. and you're just like, oh boy, it's like, should I stop enjoying your games? I mean, look, like, is that where it's? At? I can't. There was a bit of a there was a bit of a head twist when nope. I don't know. There was a bit of a head twist when recently Itsuno was like, sure love me that DMC. It's like, yeah, you Ninja made, Theory killed it. You made half of it. <laughs> And, they, uh, you know, the, uh, they, they eventually fixed it up, and, and so on. It still bugs me that the Definitive Edition doesn't exist on PC, because the mods that created the Definitive Edition Are there. came from yeah, PC. Yeah, yeah. But it's like... That means that... Uh, did you play it? Definitive? Yeah. For like a minute. I played it uh, about halfway through. It's way better. Yeah, It's I, way, way better. So I, I did the, um... No, that's not true. I did the Virgil DLC, and then I came back, and I and I 
I feel like... Yeah, I think I just did, like, the first couple stages. Like, they cleaned it. Like, all the little gameplay problems people had trouble with? Round two, Gone. baby! Let's do it! Come at me, bro. Literally. Damn. Oh, you got glowing, glowing eyes. So here's the thing. We're gonna switch over to Ifrit for this. Why would we do that? I don't know. It's yeah. crazy to do. Um, yeah, yeah. They really took a lot of feedback, and, uh... Uh, the loudest complaint early on was the color-coded damage. Yep, and that's gone. So, that on its own is like a fucking massive... Whoa! Uh, ...improvement overall in general. Big improvement. So, fun fact about this fight, a fun fact that will repeat for many games in this series. He now has Meteor, which I just learned. Mm -hmm. He also gains the ability to punch and kick. It's almost like he has his own character progress. Almost. Parallel to your own. That's a crazy thing to say, though. He's just a stupid boss. How could a stupid boss have a character progression like me? Ow. Summon swords? Where the fuck did those come from? Anime, probably. For real. Yeah, sure. Archer or whatever. Summon swords actually always bothered me. Because it's the equivalent of his gun. Yeah, because it's his gun. Yeah, it is. But, like, that's a thing Virgil can do that Dante just straight up cannot do. And it's insanely... Like, it's really good, and too. And it's insanely powerful because he can make it do different things. Because if you want me to paint them as equal with differing skills at certain points, that's fine. But Virgil has powers that Dante doesn't have. He, can, he makes ghost weapons do his bidding. But I guess that's fine because Dante gains powers during the games. That Virgil doesn't have. But he's taking weapons, mostly. Yeah. Right? Is the summon sword a weapon that he just took? Oh, fuck, maybe. And he just has all Maybe time. he just took his- maybe he just killed a demon and uses that. Yeah! Why not? That, that would explain it. Because that's where they get all their other shit. That's everything else. That uh, totally would explain he's it. He's not DTing when he's- when he's doing it. It's- maybe it's just an earring or some- Yeah, fucking, sure! Or a sock. You know, like... <laughs> a really uncreative demon made a demon sock for you to wear. That'd get real grungy, wouldn't it? Oh, you know. I mean, it's, got, it's worth it. That's yeah. like, Dante, are you using my demon? Oh, oh God. Oh, jeez, yeah. Dante, why? That's my demon sock. Now, as the only problem with summon swords is as cool as they are, you never get to see them at, like, what I would imagine <laughs> to be the final state. Just infinite blade works and shit. <laughs> just, just... I, and so I pray. Yeah, like, just a fucking million goddamn swords just shooting everywhere. It, it, like, just everything everywhere all the time. All the time. Like, you know what you're getting when, you, when you're pumping the fucking, um... Um, um... God, what's the, what's the, the version in 4? Uh... Uh, 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 the roses? No. Lucifer? Um, no, 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 uh, 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 God, it's, it's the fucking, the reality slices. Oh, uh, Judgment Cuts? Judgment Cuts. Yeah. But, but, no, but, mm, they had, those are different names specifically for that version, because the Judgment Cuts were the orbs. Yeah. And oh, the, Dimensional Cut. Dimension Cut, thank yeah. you. Yeah. The Dimension Cuts that you get are totally, uh, fucking... Like, just imagine that with million swords. Yeah. With, 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 uh, <laughs> with million stabs! Ah! With million stabs happening everywhere all the time. With with the summon sword. With the summon sword. And they're spinning. That's the final level that we never got to see. You can't do that. It's fucking sick. 